very sweet. Yes, I'm cooking for my son and his wife. Okay, so I got struck with the urge to uh, make a little late night snack, but I didn't find anything in the cupboards and we're out of cookies. But I found a big half gallon of cold milk. And nothing goes better with cold milk than fresh cake. That's what I'm making. I'm going to make a dual flavored cake, and if it's not enough, I'm going to make a three flavored cake, probably blend it together, try to make a Neapolitan effect or a marble effect. Um, a lot of what I learned, I learned by experiment, and some of the things I learned, I learned from my wife, because she's an excellent cook and an excellent baker. So, um, let's see how it turns out. Okay, so this is the start of it started out just being a strawberry cake but the pan's like way big for one mix and I only had one strawberry mix so I'm making a chocolate a chocolate doubles food and I think that might not even be enough so I'm going to mix to a yellow cake and it's going to be a Neapolitan cake like my wife suggested I should learn to listen to her more often don't stand between a fat man and his cake You don't be scared. Just pour it right on top. Uh, right on top. Ooh -ee. Right on top. It'll start displacing stuff. Just like that. Ooh Now we have the finished result of the yellow cake mix and that's going to go right in here like nobody's business right on top of the chocolate yay that ace of cake sucker has nothing on me I just don't know mmm I like the ball no, you've been bad. Okay, so we have three different cake mixes. And now I'm going to put it in work. Okay, so I'm ready to put the finishing touches on it. I'm not actually going to mix this thing. Get a little better look there. See? Oh, it glows. Um, I'm not really going to mix it. I'm going to swirl it kind of. Like this. is basically all I'm going to do to it. And it's going in the oven just like that. And anybody saying, hey, you're using a mix. You're not making it from scratch. That's cheating. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let me let you in on something. I've worked in some high-scale restaurants before, and I did security at a golf course once where they charge outrageous prices for the food they serve. And when I was going through the kitchen, doing my rounds, I found the secret to their excellent cakes that they charge $5 a slice for. Cake mix. Yep. No flour, no yeast, none of that garbage. Cake mix. Um, for 
what they charge for a slice, I could make about seven cakes. So, if you don't have to work hard, don't. If you want to put a little extra love in it, an extra time, by all means, get the flour and all that stuff. Me, I just want a snack, so that's what I'm using. Cake mix. Um, it's not what you use, it's what you do with what you use. And I'm trying to be as creative as possible with what I've got. Sadly, there's no ice cream, but that's okay. And this is the finished result. Look at how big this is. Look. Oh, my hand. See my hand? I got a pretty big hand, so that's a pretty big cake right there. I'd say that pan's about, oh, I don't know, 12, 14 inches, I guess. I don't know. There's a little bit of what we got going on there. You see the chocolate, you see the yellow, you see the strawberry right there. Three flavors just waiting for me to devour. Mmm, and I'm not even going to frost it because it looks just that good. So there you have it, cake. Three flavors, all for me. Don't stand between a fat man and his cake. I'm the broker by the birthday cake. You and me saw on the object. I'll pop in the birthday cake.